because one of their signature restaurants, Jiko, the cooking place, is reopening tonight. I'm gonna bring you along for the full dining experience, give you the tour, check out some fun facts and interesting info. Jiko is one of Disney's signature restaurants. I've never dined here before and they do have a dress code, so I whipped out a dress. I got here a bit before dinner to enjoy the Savannah view, watch the sunset. One of the big benefits of Animal Kingdom Lodge is the Savannah view. I see a giraffe, I see a zebra. I see so many animals out grazing right now. Look at giraffe. There's a cozy fire pit going tonight. Everyone's enjoying the animals. There are even cozy fire pits inside the lobby. This is the best. The lobby of Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House, where we are, is stunning. And it's filled with African art, relics, history, little bits of folklore. You could spend all day just looking around at all the beautiful theming, atmosphere, and details. Here are some of the dining options here. So we've got Boma, Sanaa, and Jiko, the cooking place where we are going. We're gonna head down to the first floor where the restaurants are located. Now, Jiko and Boma are right next door to each other. There's the Boma menu. And here's the Jiko menu. I'm so excited to try some of these foods. Doing a little research before dining here and talking to cast members, I've learned that they have the largest collection of South African wines in the world outside of South Africa. There's a beautiful bar area here. Here's the main dining room. We'll be seated soon. That wall back there that's glowing is meant to mimic an African sunset. They have two wood-burning ovens. These are so beautiful. Lamps look like birds. That's uh, the canoe bird. The canoe it's bird. Very famous in Africa. These birds are known for always facing the sunset, and walking under them brings you good luck and prosperity. And I know we all could use that, so here you go. I'm letting you walk under them with me. I even like the carpet in here. Look at this beautiful design. My dress is so long that I have to hold it up like a princess. I'm seeing many different kinds of seating, like there are these large booths, there are tables, there's the main dining floor, the lighting is soft, everything's got like a little bit of an earthy amber glow to it. Now we're seated right in front of the glowing sunset wall. Now of course a special occasion like this, the cast members are all in excellent spirits. I've chatted with several of them. They're all so happy to be back open and they said they're not open to 100% capacity yet. They're kind of easing into it to not like overload the kitchen, which I, I think that's a smart idea. Here's our table set up. We have an appetizer, an entree, dining menu. We have African-inspired specialty drinks and the wine menu. I was just chatting with the sommelier here and my server about the menu items, the drinks, the wines, and the excitement is off the charts. So I got a pretty detailed rundown of the menu and the short rib, one of the items I was looking at, it was sold as spicy, so I'll probably skip that. I'm thinking about the Moroccan lamb shank because that sounds right up my alley. I was told the braid wild boar tenderloin is the do not miss here, so we're gonna have to order it. Now, of course, no lovely dinner would be complete without a handsome date, right? I mean, you're already here. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> so they bring you a warm towel that smells like rose with rose water. It smells so good, it feels so nice. Thank you so much. Thanks. My hands smell like roses. Look at the napkins here. They're cloth and they say Jiko on them. And they're so lovely. Taste for me first. Okay, we are going to taste like del, del Torin Delicate. Delicate? Mm -hmm. Is that how I should say it? Yes. So this is served chilled. It's a red served chilled. We're going to taste it. It does smell very good. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, really nice. And because they just uncorked this for us, we got the cork. So we are sharing a glass of wine, which is a lovely option. We love to be able to do this because then we can try more. Yeah, and we got to taste it. And we got to taste it. It tastes it. really good. Yeah, it tastes really mm -hmm. good. It's like very warm, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit sweet. It's not like, it's not like chilled, cold. chilled. I was worried when she said a red that's chilled, but yeah. it's not cold. Yes, it is. That is nice. Yes. That is very nice. All right, and we also have been given some bread. So this is fatir bread, 
giraffe bread, and Jico butter. All right, so we have our sharing plates. I said this is supposed to look like a giraffe pattern. I don't know, but I do know it feels warm to the touch. Should we uh, yeah, go for it. rip a piece off, right? Oh my gosh, warm, soft, thick butter. Soft, melty butter. Let's just... Good. It's good, it's sweet, it's warm. This is the fatir bread, so it's like a thin bread with sesame seed. This looks so good, the bread smells so good. Oh, it's like a pita inside. Let's get some butter on that. We're both loving the bread. It's delicious. Yeah, bread and wine, it's just the, the, the staples, the basics. It looks like a pita, but it's soft and thick inside. They're both sweet breads, but this one's like sweeter, and it's just got this delectable flavor to it. So this bread has like a crunchy top, and it tastes so good to bite into. This one is soft. It tastes almost like a cake. They're both sweet and delicious, and they both taste so good with the Jico butter. Our appetizer has arrived, and this is the Bride Wild Boar Tenderloin Creamy Pap, Chaka Laka Tomatoes, Herb Smoked Oil, and Painted Wolf Guillermo Paul. So my server told me that Bride, because I almost thought like, is it braid, like braised, but no, it's Bride. So it's like an African word for barbecue. So it's like a barbecued wild boar tenderloin we will uh try this one on top Ooh, it all smushes down and what i'll do is get a little bit of all the things a little bit of this a little bit of this a little bit of that <laughs> i think that means it's good <laughs> <laughs> so many good flavors in there so this is kind of like polenta and this is kind of like a salsa and it tastes creamy and then like rich and then it's got like a tomato salsa flavor with it the meat is cooked to perfection that is a really lovely combo of flavors does he like it i like it he likes it so it's got that creaminess in there and it's got a little bit of kick a little hint of spice i think that's in the salsa the meat is really savory really nicely cooked um like kind of seared and kind of pink on the inside and that creamy it's kind of like I know it's not grits, I know it's like a polenta type of thing, but it kind of has the effect of like grits with meat, where it's like a soft, almost like a grainy type of like, I don't know, it's just, it's perfect, it's so good. Our server encouraged us to use the bread as a vehicle for sauce to wipe the plate clean, so we are doing exactly that. The service here so far is top tier. It feels like a signature dining experience. We are being so well taken care of and we can feel the excitement of the cast members. I like almost cry talking to one cast member about how they haven't seen each other in two years and just the big reopening and it's it's very emotional. Um, and our sommelier and our server are just phenomenal and allowing us to try wine so we are going to try another wine that she is bringing to us now. I brought you the most gorgeous Syrah. <gasps> this is called Buchen Hutzkluf. Each of the chairs represents one of the owners of the winery. That is so cool. And they are made from an indigenous wood that grows on and around the vineyards. And it's Buchen Hutzkluf. Buchen Hutzkluf. Buchen Hutzkluf. Yes. So we're going to sample this. this. We're going to taste it. Okay, it smells so rich. And you need that with the lamb. It's like silky, like very, very silky, smooth, so warm, that is heaven. It's like velvet. It is like velvet. With <laughs> like dark cherries and yes, chocolate. Yes, please, and... that is, yes, dark cherry chocolate. That's what I need, you know, like the terminology to like speak about the flavors that are in there. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Beautiful. Right, Sam is gonna sample too. The grouper. No pressure. <laughs> And that is very nice. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. You, you did great. <laughs> Takara, Director's Reserve. Cheers. Our meals have arrived, and I have the Moroccan lamb shank 
braised lamb, parsnip silk, root spinach, medjool date chutney, and Sam got the sustainable fish, which tonight is grouper, so it's locally sourced, with succotash, green papaya, radish, citrus butter, and charred tomato oil. These are both beautiful looking dishes, wow. Let's try this, it looks just oh my gosh it's so soft i didn't even have to slice it just fell off the bone mm. you know if you don't say anything it's good the sauce is almost like chocolatey like it's kind of sweet it's this rich like sweet barbecuey type of sauce and it is outrageously good sam is going in i love the look of that corn um so you like it i like it is it like soft tender fresh very fresh, very soft. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what is this, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try everything. I'm just trying it all. It's. I'm gonna let Sam try it too because it's really good. I'm trying some of Sam's fish. He's also trying some of mine. The fish is nice. It does taste very fresh. Um, the creamy sauce is good. The corn is good. Probably not what I would choose to order here. The lamb shank, actually, like I said, it has that really sweet sauce. It's almost like a chocolate barbecue sauce. Like, I really like it. I think it's really rich and delicious. I think Sam was a little thrown off by it. But, yeah, it's definitely something different than you would get anywhere else. And I'm just like, I, I'm tempted to just pull the whole thing off. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, look at that. It just slides right off. The sauce on my lamb shank reminds me of mole, which is like a Mexican, I don't know if sauce is the right word, but like a sauce that is like cooked for hours and reduced. It's very sweet and thick and rich with a depth of flavor. And that's what this tastes like. It is very, very good. I like it a lot, but I do feel like it just depends on taste, whether you'd like it or not. Um, Sam was totally thrown off by it at first, but now he's taking more bites and he says it reminds him of Christmas. And I could totally see that. It's like a, like a sweet ham type of a sauce, but like more like thick like a mole if you know what I'm talking about. And the spinach tastes really fresh. This is like good hearty spinach. It tastes like it was just picked out of the ground. There are little bites of pomegranate in there that taste so good. They add this little like sweet crunchy pop. And we finished our main courses. We were just chatting, enjoying ourselves, relaxing, enjoying the ambiance, enjoying our food and sharing I think my dish was the winner, right? <laughs> that was the one we both preferred. We're about to look at the dessert menu because we gotta do it. All right, we're reviewing the dessert menu. I am drawn to the Malva pudding. Um, the Kilimanjaro has good reviews too, but that just sounds more interesting. Here you go so that you can take a look at the desserts. And they also have some after dinner drinks, which look very tempting, but I think we're just gonna stick to dessert. Our dessert has arrived, and this looks like a piece of art. So this is Malva pudding, Melkert ice cream, Kataifa, Canoe Tool, and Cabernet Gelee. I guess that's like the gel here. Um, the bird is shaped like a canoe bird, and those are the birds hanging from the ceiling, and they offer you good luck and prosperity for your entire life. And it looks like it's in a bird's nest. This is fascinating. Let's go ahead and like, you just kind of like cut into the nest. Ooh, interesting. All right, I guess we'll try like a piece of the bird. We'll just stick it in there. We'll try, ooh, it's like juicy, the little pudding. Let's just try it all together. Whoa. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> really, really nice. Mmm. Like a jammy jelly type of thing. All right, get in there. You kind of got to get everything. Get a little bit of that, that, that. Strange. It's so interesting. It's like you get the bird's nest and get a little piece of the bird in your bite. It's like a cookie, the bird. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the bird is like a, like a butter cookie. The nest is kind of like cereal almost. The soft bread here is like a delicious sweet cake. It's good. It's really good, yeah. right? Mm. Mm. Honestly. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, me too. This is probably the winner, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. The ice cream is like buttery and cinnamony. Mm. Like it tastes like cinnamon. Mmm. I think we both like this one. I like it. Mm -hmm. I've never eaten anything like this. Me neither. I can't think of anything to compare it to. Mm. It's almost like a breakfast. It's almost like pancakes and like 
cinnamon, and like sweet Quite cream. Mm-hmm. Must be the cookie. Prosperity. Good luck. We both really liked the dessert. It was very tasty and very different. When it came out, we both looked at it like, but it was really good. And with the check, we have gotten two little blood orange candies. They look like they have sugar on them, like a sugar coating. Let's go for it, Sam. Oh, it's like jelly. Ooh. <laughs> Sam's got a look on his face I cannot decipher. Is it like tangy? I feel like blood orange is usually like tangy. If you imagine like making jam out of a jar, that's what it tastes like. Mm. That is what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a scoop of jam with like like sugar on it. It's good. Yeah, yeah nice little like aperitif. Okay, we are all done. Trying okay. to <laughs> make our way back out to the lobby. Of course, once again, walk underneath the birds, soak in that good luck and prosperity. They've got a big open kitchen where you can watch a lot of the cooking happen. Of course, the wines. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Now when I came down from the lobby, I took the elevator, but we're gonna go up through this grand staircase. There's a waterfall here. So all of this is Boma. It is really large, really loud. And yeah, that's another place. Uh, I don't know if I've eaten there. Yeah, I've, the never, I've never been to this bar either. No, me neither. Maybe we'll try that next. Now that we've finished dinner, let's take a few moments to explore the Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby because it is magnificent. Making yourself comfortable in the lobby? <laughs> you look very comfortable here. Comfy chair. Beautiful very lobby, nice. right? Beautiful. We love it here. The lobby's so cozy. Look at these TVs. Don't they remind you of like old 80s TVs just because of like the wood thing they're in? Encasement, if you will. All the furniture has animal carvings. This art installation, guests are loving it. These torches. I love these two lamps flanking the stairwell. They're like ostriches with an ostrich egg as the lamp. But let's head downstairs because there's a lovely outdoor area guests can enjoy. Whoa. So when you're up there, you can see all of this design. And when you're down here, you can see that those are the twisted branches of these trees. And that is some beautiful design. Let's go outside. What a gorgeous night. Cozy fire burning. Full moon tonight. Beautiful. Out here is the savanna, and during the day you can see the animals roaming. I think at night it's a lot harder to see them. Look at the giraffe carved in the rock there. But if they're out, you can still see them at night. Let's see, is anybody out? Birds. Shh, they're sleeping. Sorry, birds. See all the birds on the branch there? There is a giraffe. There's literally a giraffe. I don't know if you can see him. He is eating or like flipping the thing. Can you see him? He's doing something out there. He's doing some business. That's cool. I did not expect to see a giraffe like right there. He was, he was like looking for food or something. With my eyes, I can see him bright as day, but I know it doesn't always translate as well on camera. So I think the birds we're seeing out here are the East African crowned cranes. I think. And here's that large lobby window from the outside with the tree branches. Beautiful design and designed by the same firm that did Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's really quiet and peaceful out here tonight. It makes me want to be quiet and peaceful. And I know just beyond this fence there are zebra, giraffe, all sorts of animals just sleeping. So I don't want to wake them up. There's another fire pit back here, but this one's not lit. There it is. Let's take a look in the lobby shop, Zawadi Marketplace. They always have some really cool, unique things in here. Look, there's like a little game table too. A lot of my coolest shirts come from resort stores. Mm -hmm. 
this is a pretty big shop. It's got all the usual kind of like amenities and then gifts and sundries and all the things. They have magic bands, but I am holding off on purchasing any new magic bands until the new magic band plus comes out. They At D23, they told us they'd be coming out early 2022. So I'm waiting for those. We've got a little pin trading section here. And then of course, snacks and drinks and all that stuff. I love the lobby stores that sell geodes, like Wilderness Lodge, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Nice. An African folktale. A poor man traveling across Africa kindly shared his millet with a weaver bird. He gave a passing hyena some meat, with a buzzing bee, he shared his honey, and to a crocodile, he gave water. The story is told in the figures around the fireplace. <laughs> and that concludes our visit to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge to visit Jiko, the cooking place restaurant, for my very first time ever on its reopening day after what, like two years of being closed. They've been closed since March of 2020 and just reopened tonight. The excitement in the air from cast members was palpable. Guests all seemed relaxed and happy. There was a very nice atmosphere. Now again, this is one of Disney World's signature dining experiences. So it is a bit on the pricier side, more than we would normally spend on dinner. But that's the case for all of the signature dining restaurants. They're more upscale, they have finer food, uh, fancier, nicer atmosphere and ambiance, service, ingredients, um, wine selection, all of that. The kind of higher end, upper, upper scale, upper scale, upscale, more upscale dining experiences here at Disney World. You're gonna tend to find the signature dining experiences more so in the resorts than in the parks, although there are some signature dining experiences in the parks too, like Le Cellier at Epcot, which I've also weirdly never dined at gonna have to remedy that but anyway we both did very much enjoy the experience and we talked about it later and yes it's the service it's the way you're taking care of it's everything it's the full experience the full package and also the fact that you have the opportunity to try things that you might not normally try and we both did try things we wouldn't normally try and wines that we wouldn't have even known to select and the wines were probably the best part of the whole experience I think we both agreed that the fish dish um, was probably the least Least impressive of all the dishes uh, but it was still very good but my dish was definitely the better one but also very unique and something that I could see that not everyone would like but something that I think you should try the appetizer was really good we loved that again the wines were phenomenal you gotta try the wines if you drink wine if you come here they also did have mocktails on the menu we wanted to try the coffee but by the end of the meal we were just so full we were like yeah it's bedtime we have to be up early tomorrow <laughs> we'll just skip on the coffee for this time, but normally we love coffee and I would have tried that So I recommend trying it out and letting me know What it's like I hope that you enjoyed dining with us tonight If you have any experience dining here at Animal Kingdom Lodge any favorites any tips you want to share Please share those in the comments It helps all of us to just be a community and share that info with each other And if you're reading the comments go through and read them and see if you find any tips you didn't know So we're gonna head out. Thank you so much for joining us tonight sending you all a ton of love See you for the next video and until then as always stay enthused. Bye Oh, I think I got it